You guys are in the middle of a battle, uh, sans Jude, who was taken. Once Jude was transferred into the Jade Stone, uh, Herzog and his son w walked away, essentially. Uh, as he walked away, he kind of flicked his hand behind him, showing to release the beast, and the gates on the north end of the arena raised up a scorpion, half scorpion, half monster, monstrous human creature came scurrying out, and that's where we left off. Um, so, right off the bat, we're going to keep the same uh, turn order. And this thing rolled high, so it is going to go first. Mm -hmm. Rolled an 18. And um, the first thing it does is it moves over here, scurries along the wall, and darts in. And it does three attacks. It swings at the... Uh, Dragonborn, who are just uh, open on the ground. They're unarmed. They have no defenses. And it, are they tied up? They are. You see them Stand getting up. to stand up. They're trying to get up and run as this thing comes at them. It. No, they're like, their feet are bound or their hands are bound? Just their hands. Their hands are bound. Okay. But their feet are, okay. uh, they were just on their knees. This thing comes at them and it does. It quickly reaches the topmost one, this guy right here. It swings at him with a long sword. The first hit. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so Come it's on. natural 20, the first hit. The second hit is also a natural 20. And the third hit is a 16. It sweeps with its sword and it strikes right through the topmost dragonborn strikes him down dead slices through him goes through the next one slices through that one completely just splitting these two beings in half killing them instantly so you now know he has a plus nine modifier yes between the... proficiency and uh strength um oh i'm on the wrong one i'm on i gotta get on the DM side. Run away. Live. This thing strikes through, then stings the third one. All three. The third, the one that it stings, this guy right here, falls on the ground, and you see him suddenly bloat. Extremely large. And then suddenly his body just kind of melts flat. Like, as if his body... Melted from the inside, expanded, and then like a balloon deflated. So in sexy three people die. Okay. That's his turn. Okay. Uh here's the hard part, guys. It's now Andy's turn. And I'm I'm I'd like a little bit of um party input on what Andy would do. He would body slam that thing. He would grapple it and body slam it. Try and grapple it? Oh, he would grapple the hell out of it. He would hold it still so we could kill it. Alright. Yep. That's um, exactly what he said. At this, these three uh, Dragonborn suddenly get up and start running. They, they try and run away from this thing. Um, Damn it. The, the, one, the one that we know doesn't try and run towards us. I think it's pure fear at this point. Understood. That's fair. Um, Who is that over here? This guy? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Andy is going to go up to it. He's going to attempt to grapple it. Let me find his stats. Uh, where's his thing? The Unforgiving. He's got a 18 strength. Awesome. Against this guy is a... Uh, he's going to attempt to grapple this thing and try and hold it back while everyone you while the rest escape essentially 
Okay, this one has plus four to strength and he has plus four to strength. We're gonna roll d20. Contesting. Uh, so Andy rolled a... Shit, a nine. Can you guys see that? Yeah. I see a nine. Okay. And then the creature Plus. is going to Rolls roll... a less than nine. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> meets what, meets, are the what are the mods? What are the mods? What are the mods? They're both plus four. They're both what? plus four. They're both plus four. Uh, Fuck! They can't, he's it unable strength? to... Yeah, it's a pure strength. These two titans of okay. pure muscle grapple each other, and I think it cancels... It, it, he, Wait a second. Meets beats. Then I understand he, that meets beats, which so means he, that the beast met his attempt. Yeah. See, this was yeah. what was not making sense the other day. Meets beats. If it, if it hits a number, then it goes the higher way. It, Pretend the it's nine. Then it's, if it's nine, and you right. Do, but if his AC nine. was nine plus four, and he attacked with a nine plus four, then meets beats, and Andy would get okay. it. Okay. Well, what, what, if it's, what if it's like if it meets, then add one. And then you just. It's yeah, that. but what is meeting and what is beating? Is the, the same number. If the DC is thirteen, you get a thirteen. He's saying which, which side? Because it might as well be. Which side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which right, side but which one? Earlier you were saying the person attacking it doesn't matter what is the side one that meets and they beats. It's a numbers thing. It's not. It doesn't matter what side or what the consequence is. Let's it's let's look right. It does matter though, because right now the defender is meets beats, yes. and if it's an attack, then the Beat. attacker is meets beats. I'm yes. saying that's confusing. It, it does matter, right. uh, and that is it. that's exactly a uh, grapple. It should be like one thing all the time. It should be either attacks it's always meets, meets beats. Well, the grapple. What isn't you're saying, you keep repeating yourself, but you don't make any goddamn sense. <laughs> okay, well, think of it another way. What I'm saying is, Justin, hey, Justin, hey, Justin hey, listen, hey, listen to me for a second. Think about it this way: when you're doing, when you're doing uh, contested strength chest checks, the one who's attacking is setting a DC by rolling, and then the other person is doing a save. So the save meets right. the DC that is variable at this point. So okay. he ties or wins. Right. Here's here's right. the idea. I'm, I'm just sure. saying it should be across right. the board. Sure. It should be meets beats <laughs> the attack or the sa or whatever it's going to be. But one time it's the attacker and one time it's the defender. Here, here's the way it, it's considered. If you roll higher than the other person, the thing happens. If it's a tie or lower, the thing doesn't happen. Whatever it was. During a grapple check, well, because it's seen as a like, save on the outside, side. and you're basically setting a variable DC. Whatever, whatever the DC is, is based on the checks. From... If it if it is tied, whether it's grapple or a uh, will check or or whatever, whatever is attempted, if it's a tie, it does not happen. It has to to be considered successful for the thing to happen. So the grapple has to be above the meat, above the tie. The aggressor, in, that, in this case. I, I'm just complaining about the, the game. The, <laughs> I'm just complaining about Wizards of the Coast shit. You know what? They could have really worded it at some point and just had it on the top of every page. This is how this no. works as you go. <laughs> if they did that, then up. Moonbeam would be useless instead of the amazing broken thing it is now. Well, that's it should just be one, one thing. If I think it was broken... All right, because because it was a pretty uh, epic attempt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give disadvantage on the creature's next attack. Let's just say that. Um, okay, it is now Kay's turn. Oh God. Uh, yeah, fucking oh, dash. God. Uh. Oh, I think I can. Um. Wait. How did I do it before? What are we trying to do? I've... Well, now I'm just going to seem like a fucking idiot because it doesn't... Okay, okay, yes. 25 feet here. Y'all see this? 50 feet here. And then it moves Now, me. Now I see it. That was pretty cool. That's it, it, just a cool thought. Like, if you select it and then you, like, right-click everywhere you want to go to, it'll it'll do the measurement and then move. But anyway, yeah, I move, I move 50 feet to her. Is this a... I'm sorry, is this a female or what is... This dragonborn's. I moved to this dragonborn. Find out. 
spend well, your you know, turn. Maybe later on, spend your turn discussing gender. <laughs> right. Wait, what did you say? I said, just spend your turn <laughs> discussing gender. I don't say anything to her except we need to leave now. I recognize her from town. It doesn't matter uh, what this Dragonborn's orientation is or if she even has one. But, uh, yeah, I say, uh, let's fucking leave. And then hopefully uh, they are into that. And then I got 30 more feet. And then uh, I forgot how to do it. So 30 feet will put me up here, but then some of that is probably difficult terrain because it's climbing. But I have, like, 30 feet left, and I just want to, like, help her get up if okay. she's down to come with me. Yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to escort her to the wall, essentially. And at that point, you're going to make an athletics check to uh, lift her high enough with your arms for her to reach the top of the wall. And that will be your Very turn. long arms. Yeah, you're going to need to make a, an a, a athletics check. Hell yeah. Guys, why don't we even play this game? I got an 11. <laughs> that was not high enough. So you lift her up, but she's... You're, you're like almost there you're almost there um and she's just like scratching at the wall right below trying to help it um does anyone can ito it is your turn if you are able to reach him you can assist how do how do i do the snap thing the line thing? can i use the rest of my movement though to well i mean i guess i do want to help her but she's she's a you're holding her above you currently yeah all right, what do fine. I, Save her. What do I do to make it to this line, Justin? What do I press? What? The thing you oh, let, let go? How'd you make did it magically move? move? That was pretty cool. Yeah. It was... Well, hold on. It's in select and, like, you're holding, I'm holding... I hold it down and select, and I right-click. Okay, no. Uh, so down, and then I right-click somewhere else. Yes. No. What? I still don't like that. <laughs> I moved next to Justin that. with 30 feet. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm um, sure it's next to Justin. In which case, with 30 feet. roll athletics with advantage to help him and, and lift her over the wall. So do you want me to roll one more and add advantage no, to my last roll? No, it's going to be Ito. Oh, okay. Uh, Ito's using his grappling hook oh. arm. Is that helping? In which case, you... leverage. You shoot your grappling hook up there, hold on to, start climbing up the wall and hold her onto her and like lift her over with the item. There's no need to roll. You, you manage to get up, okay. scale the wall. And she, uh, during this time, as this creature comes out and starts slaughtering everyone, the crowd at first is pumped. They're super excited, but quickly this creature Everyone gets the feeling that this thing is not exactly under control, and you start seeing people in the crowd running to leave the arena. Even the guards at the top of the wall are looking nervous and holding their uh, crossbows. As people are trying to escape the pit of the arena, you see them not necessarily trying to impede that. The guards are uh, worriedly watching this beast in the uh, crowd, in the pit. So you and um, Kay managed to lift one of the Dragonborn to safety. Uh, I'm going to say... What about Kay and Ito? Kay and Ito are still at the bottom of the... Uh, Ito, you are a grappling hook, so you are like, you're on the wall. You're like, up it. Okay, yeah, I'd come back down on my next turn and, like, grab him or anything. Unless, can I use in my action to do that, or do I have an attack still? So I considered that to be your action. You would okay lifting her I up don't and, have and my... helping her. You have a bonus action. I... Bonus action. Um, I don't have action surge anymore. Uh, I'm pretty low on health. I'm going to second wind as my bonus action. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Uh, you see the this. Ooh, where's the guard? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ah, oh, cool. Rolled a one on my <laughs> second. Wait, we are so. Lua, it is now your turn. What's your fighter level? 
Eight, so I uh, get a nine. Lula. So the good news is the sidekicks may get promoted. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot Can about you give that. me access to the wolf? Oh, yeah. Controlled by... I'm just going to do dire. Where's the wolf? He's on the screen. Yeah, okay. here we go. Controlled by. Okay, there you go. Try it now. Did 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 Andy do anything on his turn? Yeah, he attempted to grapple. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I still can't uh, click oh. on the wolf. Anyways, uh, the wolf runs over there and is going to try to bite him. Bite him? Uh, with advantage. Because his uh, buddy's there. Pack nice. Button. First good roll out of us. 14 plus 5. That's a 19 to hit that guy. All right. Oh, um, try and move it real quick. Oh. Let's just see if this worked. Okay. Oh. Big ass direwolf runs over, takes a big chomp out of this scorpion totally king looking fucker. Uh, you totally hit. 19 hits. Cool, it's 2d6 plus 3 damage. So 8 plus 3 is 11 damage, and it has to make a strength DC 13 save, or it's prone, baby. Oh, dang. Okay, it's got a plus 4. It rolls a two. <laughs> it falls down. You bite this thing, and it cripples one of nice. its legs, and it it stumbles to the ground. Yeah, like runs underneath and bites one leg and pulls it underneath the other one, so it falls down. Yeah. How much damage did you deal? That was eleven damage. Okay. The beast is surprised at the unknown strength of this dire wolf that just attacked it. The, the balls on this wolf are huge. Okay. <laughs> so was this guy laying on his belly with his legs out flat, or did he manage to flip this guy over? I don't, you tell me, Bobby. What? I mean, I'm thinking it's like on its side. Yeah. Like, uh, like if it ran from the right and like grabbed its right front leg and then went like underneath it and it would have like pulled its pull. shoulder down, you know? Yeah, and it <laughs> falls on its... Bit, that's how it's I like, envisioned it. It like... Puts its one of its arms out and, and is basically kneeling. With I will do that. Uh, Squib is dead. Okay, it is now the creature's turn again. Uh, I'm gonna move if I can grab him, Andy Sky. One problem with roll twenty, you can't select the thing underneath. Something. Oh yeah, that's a big ass. Real goddamn annoying. You gotta move everything and then grab them and then put everything back. I'm gonna put this and guy. He doesn't have. a bunch of shit too while you're clicking around. I forbid you're trying to hide something. Okay. So. Roll twenty is good. It's actually gonna be this guy's turn. He's the black guard here is going to come up behind it and he's going to join you guys with trying to take this thing out. This is he didn't sign up for this. Roll twenty. The black guard. Comes oh. over. He. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Where's his? He is going to attack with the glaive. It's going to be three attacks. One, two, three. Trying to hit this thing. Take it down. The first one is a natural twenty. The second one is twenty-five. So two of these hit, but one of them is a critical, and it is going to deal a total of two d. 10 plus 4, I think. Total. Okay. Uh, 2d10 plus 4. 1d10. No, it's two attacks, right? Yeah, one was a one was a double. One was a critical, so it's 2d10 plus 4. Right? Well, yeah, but if the other attack... 3d10 plus Double one and then add the other attack if they hit, right? Yeah, I could just do three D ten plus eight. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. Oh, you were talking about the single attack. Yeah, one was a critical. Logic makes sense now. Um yeah, both hit. 
he deals 28 damage to this thing. So he comes in behind yeah. it and sweeps the tail of this thing, the stinger, and just doesn't quite cut it off, but he definitely damages it. So that's 28 damage against this creature. Um, and he's he's giving a thumbs up to you guys. Um, the next black guard is going to come down here. This guy right here. He's going mm -hmm. to come down south to the entrance here, and he sees his buddies on the other side of an iron gate that's shut behind them, and he's just going to bang on the gate and ask. He, he's just begging to get in. Uh, the dragonborn next to him joins him. Um, I'll roll empathy <laughs> to see how the others feel. Empathy check. Uh, okay, the others, actually, they respond by uh, they're going to start working the crank to try and raise the iron gate. It's going to take two turns. Ooh, work that crank. Um, okay, it is now the mural's, mural's turn. I don't know how to say that. M-U-I-R-A-L. Murray is what you're trying to say. You're Murray. trying to say Murray. Murray. Uh, it's now the Murray's turn. Muriel. Muriel? It is going Muriel. to... Yeah, yeah, Muriel, yeah, you're right. Muriel. Because it's Uriel with an M. That's a weird way to spell scorpion, man. Maybe I don't know. You, 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 Mario, M U. You get it, Justin. My Justin over here, man. It's you guys are really trying to pronounce the rock wrong. <laughs> okay. God damn. Jonathan, it rolls down. Destiny. It's gonna swing two long sword attacks at uh one long sword attack at you, Lua. One long sword attack at uh, Andy's character, uh, Magnus, and one at the uh, one sting attack at the black guard behind him. This is going to be two d eight plus four for each attack. Two d eight plus four. Where's the same sword? The sword and the same. This thing's probably got some acid or something, right? Did somebody get melted when I hit it? Bobby, you're going to take 14 damage. Lua takes 14 damage. And uh, Andy's going to take 9 damage. I wish I'd asked Andy what his character's health was. Do you guys recall? Pretty high. He was pretty tough. He's right. a beefy guy. I think... I think you said last game, whatever this monster's health is, plus 10. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it, that sounds right. What are you going to do? You're going to kill him? I think he didn't update the uh, HP for it when he was fighting. Okay. The guy takes 8 damage with the sting attack, but he's going to make a DC 16 saving throw. Constitution. He rolled a nine. He doesn't get anything on Constitution, so he's now going to take D six D eight poison damage, which I forgot. Hey, you've to... lost your health. Take seventeen damage. Not too bad. So he took. Uh, yeah, he got lucky. He's going to take twenty eight damage this turn. That you almost Andy. lost your health. No, that was the black guard, I think. Yeah, and and with that, he's also going to make a retreating attack. So the creature swings with a retreating strike. Mural moves up to his speed without provoking opportunity attacks. Before the move, he can make one longsword attack. He makes one more attack at uh, he makes an attack at Lua. It's a 12 to hit. Does that hit you? Who's got their four in the belt? No, it does not. Okay. He swings at you, but being a wolf, you dodge out of the way, and he moves. He comes down here to where... I'm curious Vito who was cold as ice. And KR. And that's his turn. It is now the Unforgiven's turn. <gasps> um, and he's going to oh, run shit, over we're here. Dead. He's going to try again. He's going to grapple. He rolled a 19. The creature rolls a 9. He gr successfully grapples this creature. It is grappled. Grapple, grapple, grapple. Cool. 
Okay. Um, that is going to be his turn. K, it is your turn. Since the Since creature's situation has will not deal any kind of a, it will not do attack if you leave its range. I don't have advantage on this guy, right? He's just grappled. He's grappled right now. He's grappled. You would have. Doesn't that give you advantage? Advantage, yeah. I, don't, I think. Yeah. Makes his speed zero. But whatever DM says. Grapple gives advantage. I'm pretty sure for incoming attacks. All right. Well, if, if uh, yeah, if old, uh, Magnus has this guy down, then I'm gonna get out my great axe and uh, get to chopping. All right. That's I was muted. Yes, I'm not gonna play with this. <laughs> so thirteen. What was the attack? Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen does not hit. I'm going to buy Justin dice for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Like, I mean, it doesn't matter. These are brand new. I just got. It doesn't. I. I just need to like never touch them. I need like dice gloves. You know what I mean? So that I don't get my stuff on them. By the way, uh, Brian, Jude, I promise we will get to you. No problem. We're just getting through this. This is entertaining. Great. A little worrisome, but entertaining. Okay. K is that I, your turn? Uh, Am I within reach? It probably doesn't matter. No, I'm going to move, actually. Our Dragonborn fellow is up there. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to move. On my, on my turn, I'm doing the grappling hook thing to go up, to go back up. Yeah, I guess I can still actually probably get up there. Yeah, okay. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bonus action dash. So I have 80 feet of movement. I need to get up this wall. And as far as I worry as I can from this spot, from this scorpion. How tall is the wall? The wall is approximately 25 feet, I think we said. Cool. Is it difficult terrain to climb it, or can I climb his grappling hook thing? It would be it's difficult. It's not up right now. It re it's retracted. Yeah, it would be difficult terrain. Okay, cool. Uh, so 50 feet. So I have uh, 30 feet left once I climb it. Uh, and I, I don't know. I'm up here with this guy, and I, I, I want this person to come with me. Uh, what, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, If you're carrying the person, 30? it's going to put No, I don't, I don't want to carry them. I want to encourage them to come with me. They can walk, right? Yes. I'm definitely can. like, oh, come on, let's go. Let's get you out of here. Okay. Whisker tonight. Whisker Tonian. We're trying to save the Whisker Tonians. <laughs> What's our town called? <laughs> yeah, I don't like Whisker that. Forget. Whisker Tonians. It's Whiskerton. Whiskerton. We'll just call that person exactly. a whisker. Whisker Tonians. We'll just call it a whisker. It's like a oh, slang person. for that person, right? I know you're a whisker. Come on, let's go. All right, uh, Ito. It is now your turn. Grappling hook up the side of the wall. Uh, is is that my movement, or is that an action to do that grappling hook thing? That would be, if you go, since it's only you, it would be your movement with a bonus action. Okay, then it's just with, with the... my action, as I'm going up, I'm going to fire at him. Okay. Uh, fuck it, everybody's re using real dice. Let me, uh... With great success. All right, great. Uh, 16? 16. 16. 16 hits. That Wait, is do, its do, I have do I have advantage on these? Because he's grappled? <clears throat> he's not prone, he's just grappled. Grapple has the advantage, yes. Okay. Oh, this is back Natural back. 20 on that first <laughs> attack. Then. Great. Yeah. There we go. Uh, with the worst damage. Yeah. Uh... And he needs to make a. No, never mind. I get it back on this point. I get it back with that. So seven, just seven damage. Uh, second attack. It hits, but no, uh, no crit. But on this attack, make a uh, DC fifteen strength saving throw.
He rolled a 14. It is now prone as well. <laughs> what I shoot him in one of its legs, and while he's like grabbing, he just like. And knock a kneecap. You've man. helped the unforgiven take him to the mat. Yeah. Hell yeah. He's down. He can't get up. And There's no movement. Grappled and just struggling. He's having a hard Congratulations. time. Congratulations. You're the heel. Yeah. And that's uh, 11 damage to him. Okay. The creature a, is, terrible. while it is not below half health, it has definitely been hurt. Um, is that your turn, Ito? Uh, that was 20 feet of movement. That was 20 feet of movement to get up there? Yeah, and with the grappling hook, we'll say that that would not be uh, difficult terrain. Okay. Yeah. You, you basically just... I, I just move a little. Yeah, I just yeah. move a little bit here. Just get out of the way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Lua, it is now I your turn. I just tell him to move. Um. Okay, so Lua runs forward towards the beast. What's its status right now? Uh, Grappled and prone. Go ahead and go ahead and make a uh, perception check. This is not gonna. It'll yeah, take sure. a bonus action. Okay, nineteen, baby. This creature has. Almost exactly three quarters of its health left, and it is, um, while it is not, it would have approximately 138 of health. <laughs> All right, you just nailed that perception mm. check. You're reading okay. it like a I'm book. Going to... <clears throat> uh yeah so the wolf charges forward and uh when it gets about here it leaps in the air mm -hmm. and bursts apart and its fur just like splits and like meat falls down to the side of the ground and flying from the middle of it come two giant spiders and lua <laughs> lands on her feet and the spiders land on the ground and run up to it and are going to do uh, webbing on it and try to just restrain it, like lock it up. Okay. Uh, insane. So, insane in the membrane. So, the first web attack is a 12 plus 5, so 17. 17 hits. Okay. Now, can I stack that? Can I have both spiders do it? And then if it wants to escape, it has to beat the strength check twice. Does that make sense? I mean, technically, it's already restrained. You putting... Right, but I want it to be, like, not grappled by a person. I want to have it so that it's the just... person grappling it can beat the shit out of it, too. I see. So you'd be sense? able to keep it restrained, but also let um, him... I'm, I'm saying... Not stack conditions, that's all. You can have the What's other that? spider ready in action to try again if he breaks the restraints. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Yeah. So one spider shoots it with the webbing and restrains it. And then the other one readies its action. So if it breaks through the restraints, it'll automatically shoot webbing at it again to try to restrain it. Okay. How do you feel about that? Yeah. 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 So it is now webbed. Essentially, and when it becomes webbed, uh, I, I'll say that Magnus is no longer needed for grappling. Essentially, he can back off. Yeah, right. Freely. Um, That's what I was going. You keep me on my toes, man. <laughs> uh, I love the visual with that, though. Yeah, that was really good. Let me get my. Uh, okay. Got the giant spider in there. Edit. Cool. 
Okay, uh, that is good for me. Did that deal any damage? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's just restrained. Okay. Yeah. And again, so on his turn, it's a DC 12 to strength check to break through. But okay. if he does, the other spider will immediately try to attack. Like, on... To restrain it again. Right. That is so good. I love it. <laughs> I'm trying to be the best druid I can be. That's what Lewis says. I'm trying to be... I forgot her voice. I'm just, I'm just trying to be the best druid I can be for you guys. It's, I'm, uh, I'm cheering for the stands. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. I grabbed somebody else's popcorn. There we go. That's the one I want to Upload. Okay, perfect. That's a, that's a creepy spider. Hell yeah. Gonk. <laughs> Gonk. I don't even like spiders. And those are pretty good looking. Okay, webbed. Um, this guy is so ridiculously entrapped. Um, Lua. Stay down. That was an awesome turn. This guy is going to come up. He's going to run down. Let's see. He's got. Uh, he's got thirty movement. Oh, yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, he's still there. He's going to come up over here. That's going to be his turn. This guy down here, he's urging on these guys to continue to raise the gates here. Uh, it's going to take one more turn before the gates are going to be open. Let's see. It is now the creature's turn, the mural's turn. He's going to... Now, here's my question. He may be restrained, he may be webbed, but he can still attack. Right? It's going to be with disadvantage. Not when restrained. Not attack, no. If he was just grappled, he could have attacked. Okay, then he's going to make a strength check. He's going to try to unrestrain himself. Bring it on, Ding Dong. He rolled an 8. Mm, the DC oh. was 12! Heard that. He remains encapsulated in web. Okay, so he does get to attack, but they're at disadvantage. Alright. That will be... Okay. I'm gonna. He does attack. Yeah, he does still they attack with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Yes. Um, he swings at the unforgiving, and it is a total of seventeen, twenty-one, and twenty-two to hit. This guy rolls really good. All three hit the unforgiving. Rob is frozen. What's that? It froze? Your video has frozen on my side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Uh, kind of I'm going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Is that good now? There you go. Hey, yep. all right. Um, I got to roll damage. All three of these hit, which is worrisome. The Unforgiven is going to take... A total of 2d8 plus 4, 2d8 plus 4, 1d10 plus 4, and he's going to make a constitution saving throw. He rolled an 18, so he saved himself and is going to take half as much damage from the attack with the stinger. So that's going to be 3d8 plus zero. Um, Can I ask, does this guy get like extra damage on his longsword, or does he just like have a heavy longsword attack? Good. He's got a 2d8 plus four longsword attack. That's 61 damage. Uh, it's 18, 16, 14, 13. God damn. Who's got a calculator? At uh, well, 61 damage. 30 plus 13 is uh, 43 plus what, 18? Is... I mean, I, I trust Brian. 61. Yeah, um, I don't even know if he's got that much health. I think he's down. Let's say he's down. Yeah, he's down. He's got 69 he's... health total. He's down. Man, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he's nice. down, but he's not dead, at least. No, he's not dead, but... He is definitely down. He's going to be doing 
uh, saving throws. In fact, the next turn is going to be a de light, uh, death saving throw. He's he going down. Five, that with 69, he's going down. He's going, <laughs> he's going down. He's got one death saving throw. Nice. Fail. Nice. Hey, maybe he's not, though, you know? Okay, it is now your turn. Who knows? Um, well, our friend's in trouble. The Dragonborn is safe-ish. And we were wrestling earlier. So I'm going to run down there and jump off the top with my great axe. I'm going to do a fucking flip and try to bury it into this guy's, you know, most important body part. <laughs> with advantage. Yes. With Take advantage. advantage. Take advantage all day. Hold on. I gotta find some good die because I don't want to fuck this up. All right, here we go. That's one. Well, you don't have to destroy your house to find good die. I dread four on my die. <laughs> You're also falling, let's say, onto the back of this thing. That's gonna add a one d eight to your damage. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Um, For spectacle. Damn. Should I do the great axe or do sneak attack with the short sword? I want to do great axe. It's more fun. All right. That's the tech roll. All right. Don't miss. Wait. What is my... 17? 17 hits. Oh, thank God. Dude, if I missed... Really, <laughs> that would have been really fucking sad. Man. All right. D8 plus... No, no, sneak attack. D8 plus D2. Oh. It's a one on the D8. Uh, it's a five plus four. It's just fucking nine damage. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Nine damage. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, you added the I, D8, right? Yeah, you did. I rolled a one on the D8. Oh, man. All right. So I'm just, that's all I can do. I love this one. Okay. Um, all right. It's We got about ten more minutes, and then I'm going to switch over to our other player jude see what's happening oh, with him but we'll, yes. we'll continue with this um okay ito it is now your turn. This guy, though, over here. you're gonna move him there okay yeah see i'm like running out i see k run past me and die final oh, shit and run back <laughs> when i did it i was like screaming once this guy i'm forgiven yeah. like i can't let this happen to my it was so cool it's like I, I'll scream that. I'm right there with you, buddy. I'm just such yeah. a big fan. If you can get yeah. his autograph while I'm down there, just, it's not a priority, but it's something that I want. Ha-ha! <laughs> Do it. Now. Uh, get off of him, you bitch! Prone. Prone, but I'm shooting down at him from above. Yeah. Do I have disadvantage? No. Awesome. And it's... I mean, he's restrained with web, so he could be, you know, he's, I don't know. No, you don't have to. Do I have advantage? Do I no. have advantage? No. No. Well, that's a 25 to hit. That hits. I am rolling so bad with damage with this. Uh, that's six damage. Yeah. Uh, screw it. Uh, second attack. That hits. Twenty something. Uh, D ten. Let me roll this physically and see if I get better. Uh, uh ten damage to him. All right. Takes 10 damage. You guys are chipping away at him. The creature is struggling against the bounds of his webbing and proneness and just general unhappiness of being like pecked away by these smaller creatures around him. Uh, Lua, it is now your turn. Um, I will... I'm gonna cast blight on that fool. 
Nice. Because it is instantaneous and not concentration, so my spider boys will hang out. So it needs to make a constitution save. Hell yeah. Nice. All right, he's going to roll. Nice. Uh, let's see what this guy's got. Nice. He has plus the spell save is 16. Wait a second. Wait, hold on. T pause. Yeah. Pause, pause, pause. Pause real quick. Pausa. Um, do poisoned uh, creatures have disadvantage on con save? Does anybody know real they quick? Have they have disadvantage. Okay, well yeah. then I'm going to have a spider bite his ass first. Bonus action, I'm going to send the spider over there to bite him. Okay, good. He's got plus eight to saving throws on constitution. Okay. So I get advantage on biting him with one of the spideys. Do I need to make a constitution saving throw against that? No, I gotta, I gotta bite him first. Okay, go. For so it. the first spider misses. I'm gonna have the second spider run up and bite him too. Fucking fuck! So both spiders miss biting the restrained guy, which is fucking pitiful, to be honest. For spiders, they can't even bite something that's in their own web. Both of them miss with, with advantage. Makes me very angry, huh? Jeez. Yeah, I got a three of four, a two and a two. <laughs> you guys are rolling garbage today. We okay, so so you uh, Lua's gonna go ahead and do her uh, blight anyway. All right, so I'll... do a con save. It's right. sixteen. He's got plus eight. So just roll con. less. Roll a fucking what is that? A seven, seven or less. He rolled plus a twelve. Eight. Fucking shit! Well, he's gonna take half damage. It is uh. I think it's 8d8, so... You can't see Bobby, but that looks what he looks like. So 24 and 15 is 39, so it takes half that, so... Mm -hmm. Welcome. What? Uh, it 18? takes 18 da- nope. 19 damage. Okay. So... He's at 100 health. He's at basically exactly half health. God damn it! That's, I cannot believe those fucking spiders. These, oh, these spiders. Oh, did your um, about to be totally fired? Did the one who webbed already? Did they get? Did they recharge their web? I I use them both to attack to bite to try to fuck him up on this blight thing. So he can't. They can't web. Well, I know, but it's a reach. I don't know, like. Yeah, like, you know how it's recharged, so you roll a d6, and if you get to, like, a 5 or 6, you can do it again, whatever. But I wonder if you roll that every time, like, if you just do a regular attack and then also recharge your web, and then you, know, you can use it next time. I don't know. Well, that I don't know. Okay. I would. Uh, the guard runs over. He deals 20 damage against this guy. Creature is at... 80 damage. With two attacks, he swings with his glaive. One misses, two hits. Three attacks, sorry. The other one, the door finally opens down here, and this guy rushes in, the dragonborn rushes in, and the other dragonborn rushes in to the tunnel and disappear into a crowd as, every, as all of the uh, previous occupants of the tunnel exit. It is now just the three of you, the black, one black guard, K, and Lua in the pit with Unforgiven, who is down. Unforgiving is going to make a saving throw. Life saving throw. Well, it's a 12. It's good. Um, he's good. Yeah, Bobby, they, the spiders do work like that. K, it is now your turn. Fuck this scorpion, man. I'm going to hit it with uh, my bow. My longbow, even. Oh, shit. All right, well. Glad I got advantage. That's going to hit 18 plus 7. Yep. D8 plus 3 D6. Dang, that's two ones. All right, 2, 6, 9 plus 4 is 13 damage. 
Piercing. Pretty good, pretty good. The creature is thrashing on the ground. It is what would be basically considered bloodied at this point. Ito, your turn. You're up. I need to, one, reload my gun, and two, um... No, sorry, I will use my action to I'll use my bonus action to reload and then my action to fix my other gun that broke last game last uh, session okay so intelligence check oh my god I rolled a one the gun is just broken okay that's pretty bad man I think that, like sorry, you're going it, was to... jam, it was jammed before. That's just broken. I need to fix that out of combat now. That gun's just out of combat. Yeah, you're going to have to take that to an, uh, uh, in an expert. No, I know how to. I can fix that. It's just going to take gold and time out of combat. Okay. It All right. sucks, but yeah. fucking bullshit. <laughs> Let's let the spiders eat the scorpion and leave. All right. By the way, can you guys see the health bar of the creature? No. No. Okay, interesting. Okay. Uh... I'm going to do it on advanced. Lua, you're up. Sista. Um... Uh, so the recharge for the webs... It still hasn't broken through its web, right? No, it hasn't. Surprisingly. Okay. Um, I'll just roll to see if they recharge them. They both do. Okay, uh, but Lua is going to run up and uh, stab, actually. She's going to use her hands to deal damage with her blood spear she's been carrying around Ew. that's just a 14 though that does not hit is that that that's spear we found advantage. in the Feywild? wait roll with advantage oh yeah that's right i forgot I don't know. What is it own advantage well fuck uh and then she'll have the biter spite the biter spite <laughs> the spider bite with advantage those hit. Uh, 15 plus 5 is 20. Okay, so... What is spider spite? Spider bite. Uh, it's 2d8 poison. So 15 damage. Um, and 11 con save. It rolls a... 13... 13. Okay, so it takes half that damage. Okay. Um... Biter's fight is biting someone back after they bit you. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, so this actually doesn't poison them, which is annoying. But that's fine. Um, the other one just is readying to web it again. It's going to save its action to web. Ready's like it did before. Okay. The... It keeps hitting so close and it has to hold it. The guard attacks. If it's with advantage, all three of those hit. So, 3d10... Plus 12. He, uh, he deals 28 damage against this creature. The creature is roiling on the ground, just screaming in frustration and anger. Uh, it is now its turn. It is going to... Yeah, bitch. Attack the black guard with... One, two... Oh, wait, sorry. 
It's just two and one sting. It doesn't do well. It uh, misses all three. Yeah. Um, okay. And okay. Maybe he's turning around. It's going to struggle to get out. It rolls a 19 to unweb itself. And it does. So it's going to. Sh- a spider's going to try to web it again. As a reaction? Yep. Pachow! Ah, fuck. All right. It is unwebbed. Oh, shit. Other spider, go. Um, it's going to use a legendary uh, move now. Now it's got legendary moves? It, it's always had legendary moves. It's just been restrained this whole fucking time. <laughs> what about the second spider? His trigger is... Well, is... That was the second spider thing. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, the other spider bit on its turn. His uh, attack is going to be lunging attack. which Mural makes one longsword attack that has a reach of 10 feet. And he's going to go after you, Lua. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Bring it on, Ding Dong. It is a 12 to hit. Hell no. Yeah, not great. She swipes the sword with her spear. <laughs> it's not great. Okay, that's his turn. On guard. He's, he's, uh, that's his turn, guys. He, Mural's, Mural's getting, oh, now it is Unforgiving's turn. He's going to make a... All right, he's got one save, one death, one fail. That's another save. <clears throat> we'll do a happy color, yellow, to show a save. Cade, is your Is turn. that canonical that happy, yellow is a happy color in this game? I think, I think so. <laughs> That's a hell of a system. I like it. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm going to run up there. And I put my swords in this in this in this creature's body. Your name is longer than the turn order area where it allows for the name written out. Good. It's ridiculous. good. I won't be I'll be stifled no longer. I have a full name and that's it. Well, a full first name. Okay. <clears throat> 16. Uh Yes, it hits. Technically, we d- we agreed earlier that it wouldn't, but... What did you say? We agreed okay, earlier that we wouldn't based on what we just read, but we've been doing it the other way around the whole time, so we're just going to say that hits. Guys. You're fucking right, it does. Um, and then... Uh, oh, yeah, an extra d6 for the short sword. Sorry. Cool. Uh, six, six is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 4, 22. You slice into this thing. The creature is... There's green blood spewing all over. Its limbs are on the ground, twitching. Uh, but the creature remains. Good. It still stays. Bonus action disengage. Backing up. Okay. Ito. Bring it Okay. Home. Not restrained. Not, uh, not prone. It's up. Is it still poisoned? It's not poisoned. Okay. The spider doesn't do poison uh, condition, which sucks. But okay, Um, I'm going to. Yeah, I'll just shoot him. Try and get some of these grit points back. Uh, First attack. Shit. Twenty-one. That is 13 damage. Second attack. I'm going to make sharpshooter. Uh, Jesus, Matt. 23 minus 5. 18. 18. Does 18 hit? Yep. Nice. Oh, my God. Oh my god, what is with damage right now? 15 damage. That is the lowest damage I can make with With uh, these two shots into the back of this creature as it's thrashing about 
it is he dead? It, it releases <gasps> one final scream, and then it goes, <laughs> and it's yes, hits the ground oh. and it twitches. K is banging his head to this. It's dead. I loot the Ooh, body. He <laughs> I loot the body. You find one long sword. Uh, I beat you to it, buddy. You better, you better back off, K boy. I don't know what all your attitude is about. I don't, I don't, I don't understand where this chip on your shoulder came from. weren't you a princess in the other world? Fight oh, you sword. haven't met me, I suppose. Oh, I've met you, and you're a got a stick up your ass. I'm just wondering where it came from. Being a princess. Hmm. I mean, who knows what it's like in the Fate Wild? I know I don't. More chaotic since we've been there. I got a couple. Uh, but monsters dead. Mojito round. Everyone, let's go. This Woo! is not. This is not Ito saying this. Elise, Mojitos. Uh, <laughs> you're, <gonna> go. <laughs> you're saying it all oh from god. above the pit. Oh my god. <laughs> Lua will heal uh, the Unforgiven. Okay. He's one hit point. He's hurt, but he's heroically alive. Um, okay. You all are able to freely freely leave. Basically, the arena has emptied out as people have, in a panic, uh, egressed from the building. I want to talk, want to, talk to that black guard if I can. The one who was fighting kind of with us. Oh, yeah, he, he gets to come to the cookout. Fuck yeah. I don't yeah. know what the fuck is happening with Jude. Yeah, we're, we're about to go well, to Jude. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, I'll talk to him. <laughs> don't let me not talk to him, but yes, I do want to find out what happened to Jude. Okay. Yeah, I need you to go to the store and pick up some uh, amount of gin. Uh, I need... Uh, I'll go after this. And what was that stuff <laughs> we used to talk about? You know, I couldn't see her face reaction, but it was a very "I'm over this conversation" as she turned away. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a teenager's like default status. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm not looking at the video. I thought that that was Ido talking to the Black Knight. No. <laughs> I'm I'm beginning to wonder where Ido begins and Trey ends. Oh, <laughs> right. <come on. laughs> there is a line, but you know the line is getting are... it is thin and segmented. <laughs> You're like, like, my reality is is starting to slowly bleed into the the fantasy and vice versa. Um, Okay, you guys are out. Meanwhile, back in town, we see Herzog and his son heading back to the tower. Uh, Sometime later... Jude, you Let's see if it's showing. Oh yeah, I see it. Jude's room. Yeah. Jude's room. Jude, you wake up in a kind of fugue state, and I'm gonna pull open some notes because I wrote this out. I gotta, I gotta get this. Uh... Ready? If Jude wakes up in this fancy harem filled, surrounded by <laughs> women, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> yeah. Some sometime later, Jude, you wake up, and you wake up in a bed to the smell of freshly bra- baked bread and fruit. Beside the bed stands the robed figure of Werner Herzog, and behind him, his son lounges in a chair beside a small fireplace, sipping wine from a glass, unconcerned. Okay, Werner Herzog. Uh, I see you have woken from your slumber. Welcome once again to the world of the living. I have brought you here after absconding you from your uh, team. I assume you know who I am, and I assume you know why you are here. Is Falcor with me? No. Um, 
All I know is you're working with cultists. Where's my dragon? My mini dragon. Uh, you assume wrong. I am not working with cultists. I am working against them. I am working to save this kingdom from the onslaught of the aberrations of another plane from coming to this world and destroying us. I assume you've... I know you have fought these cultist these creatures from another dimension I know you've seen the power that they wield and I know you know the danger they show against us and everyone living in this kingdom I've also seen the younger Herzog trying to purchase these creatures from said cultists um you see he, he goes you're speaking of my son? And he looks... The one I like the least. Oh, hold on, guys. One second. I gotta help Ellie with her TV. Uh-oh. What happened? I don't know which son this was. Was this the his son or one of the youngest? The grandchildren? It, it is his son. The one we have... It's the one we have captured. I don't remember the age. Which so, age it is. Tom York Once... is his son... I am a half son, and the think, other one is the boy. Yeah, I think Tom York is the one in the room with you. The okay. one we have captured is the other one that I can't remember. Okay. And you're the half son. I think I knew I knew that already. Yeah. I don't know. Jude doesn't know. Jude's been inside of a crystal. Your dragon friend, I don't know about what my son has been doing. I'll do. There is rumor that my son has been taken by a rogue faction. They, my sons do as they will. To some extent, I only have control over what is in front of me. Your creature, your dragon is not here he is being transferred he better be transferred here i'm going to burn this entire building down uh you'll find your magic will not work here this is a place that uh i have made certain there is an anti-magic field in this room at all times and uh, you, if you try and cast a spell, you will find that you are indeed in a anti-magic field. I do try to cast fireball <clears throat> repeatedly. You, you you attempt that, and he goes, "I appreciate your lack of faith in my words." And I see that I, you during out this during this whole conversation, I realized if Jude is like still talking, he's just like, so what do you want from me? <laughs> As he's constantly just <laughs> casting fireball. Yes. What do you mean you don't control your sons? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> how much of my gear do I have? Was it was anything taken from me? Because I wasn't really wearing much, but Um, no, nothing was taken from you. Um just my dragon? Yeah. He goes <sighs> I don't wish ill upon you, Jude. I know you are the product of my wife's indiscretion and the king's lack of dignity. Both have been punished for their sins, but the sin does not transfer to the son. I do not hate you. You are just a piece in a larger puzzle. You are a part of what we are doing to save this kingdom for now you will remain here I think the creature you have brought that you have clearly formed a bond with is part of a larger key as well the king will serve his purpose and save this kingdom whether he likes it or not and and he goes you will be a part of the transformation soon enough but for now i hope that you find yourself 
in comfortable conditions. And with that, Werner Herzog turns around and he waves to his son and Tom York stands up, looks at you, smiles, and follows his father out the room. You are... Okay. So... Okay. Assholes. The Herzogs seem like assholes. Yes. Yeah. You are... Um, the room is quite comfortable. Um, you hear gears turning behind the door. Um, heavy gears. <clears throat> is there a window? Yeah. I'll, I'll explain real quick your environment. The room you find yourself in is well furnished, a bed upon which you lay opposite of an open colonnade with heavy curtains that leads to an open sky beyond. Similar to the image that you um, is shown. To the side you hear a cozy fire crackling in the fireplace opposite of the iron door that you saw Herzog leave out of. Beside the fireplace are some chairs with a small table between them. Tobacco, matches, and a pipe await the cultured individual with a small music box beside them. On either side of the door that Herzog left out of, there are two stone statues of handmaidens on, other, on either side. They are nude from the waist up, one offering a goblet, one offering a stone blade. And in front of them are basins with drains at their center. Before the colonnade, you see a small pool, presumably for cleaning, with a vase beside it. Vase. Steam rises from the pool, and a faint scent of lavender permeates the breezes that come in from the open columns. Beyond the open colonnade, a balcony looks out over the city. Um. Okay. You'll need to kind of look around and figure things out. Now, you do have... Yeah, okay, that's all. Okay, so did I get a long rest while I was apparently unconscious? No. Okay, so I still only have whatever spells I had and seven hit points. Yeah. Let's say you had a short rest. Short rest. So I can spend some hit dice then. Yeah. And I'm going to be, now I'm going to be jumping back and forth between the two a little bit, between the two groups, but we're going to stick with Brian for a little bit. Eventually, I want to try and reunite you guys quickly. Brian, let's bust out of there. 18, 18, 22, 18, health added to my solo health. <laughs> So, Brian, that means there is a secret compartment that will get you out. Right. You just need to find it. We believe so, I have we my axe. I have my clothes. I have my ring. I don't have my dragon. Mm -hmm. Werner Hartzog is very confident. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's very confident. Okay, I'm going to walk over to the balcony mm -hmm. and look out at the sky. Look down. How far down is it? You're about eight stories above ground. Um, it would be, it would be a, a death to go down. There's no balconies below you. It's just a single balcony and then straight down. It's probably all a dream, though. Just jump. You can probably fly. Yeah, it's just a gem. Who cares? Leap of faith. Uh, actually, no. Is... Look at the statues and stuff. It's got to be something with a goblet and a sword and all that. Oh yeah, I know, but I also don't want to feed any of their cultist bullshit either. If they're going to try to transform somebody with blood magic, and I'm pretty sure yeah. I'm supposed to feed the goblet of with blood from me using the stone sword. Mm -hmm. No, don't do that, dude. What's I am going to look at my hand, notice that my ring is still there, and I'm going to jump. Ring of Featherfall? Yes. 
Okay. And as I fall and I escape the anti-magic field, I'm going to cast Fly. Okay. Uh, that is enough for you to escape this room. <laughs> That's it. You're out. Cool. Unfortunately. Okay, no, what? that's all. <laughs> what? Unfortunately, I don't know where my dragon's at, so I have to figure out how to save Falcor now. But so you're flying out of there. Where are you at? Sorry, I don't know. Does I'm in a big tower somewhere. So the tower was at the center of the city. Um, you right? This the. That central tower of this image is essentially where you are at. The throne room is at the top of it, the top of the tower. The entire tower is enveloped in a kind of anti-magic field. So the closer you get to the king, the less likely you can do magic because of the field. Yeah. Which is a good way to keep the king safe from fireball. <laughs> oh, it would really suck if they all just started going off as soon as I exited. So are you out of the gym? <laughs> He's left the tower. Um, you're apparently yep. flying yeah. over the city. Judas flying? Yes. Sorry, I, so my mom called me. I had to jump up. You, you flew? You have wings? I have yeah. feather fall and the spell fly. And you just like but jump I am... out of the tower till you got yeah. out of that field? Yeah. yeah, I jumped until I was out of range of the field. And Although... then the feather fall ring would kick in and then I cast fly as I was going away. I was worried that the tower itself was anti-magic, which yeah, means I was splatted. Technically, I mean, your ring is magic. Yeah. It Yeah, Feather Falls definitely a spell. It the tower itself is the magic anti magic field. So how far out does it permeate? I mean I already said he flew out of there. Yeah, I I already I mean honestly I just didn't want you to fall to your death. I mean I can do a dexterity roll to see if I can run jump far enough away from it to I would like that exit it. I would like that. I because your feather fall shouldn't have worked, but you already jumped. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> what was it? Okay. That was a 19 plus uh, 2, so 21. Okay. Okay. Here's what happens. You look over the side of this mount, uh, tower precipice essentially um as you look down you see that there are some red banners that are stringing from the tower and as you leap out your magic doesn't work your feather fall does not work you fall increasingly fast but as you as you plummet one of the banners you strike you hit it and you actually slide along it as you're sliding along it it takes you further from the tower and your feather fall eventually kicks in. As you continue to tumble, you're now tumbling at half the rate of speed, allowing feather fall to keep you from collapsing to the ground in a certain death manner. <laughs> um, you find yourself falling between towers into a alleyed area. Um, tight, narrow alleyways that are leading between stone buildings. The arena is not far. It's, uh, let's say it would be about 400 feet away. About a football field away. Okay. Luckily, you're, you've not attracted any attention having done so. I'm glad it... Yeah. Okay. 
right. You've managed to escape the tower. Um, you've learned the relation of what is happening. You also learned that the pseudo dragon had a role in the completing the transformation of the king into a dragon. And um, you were unable to save the dragon, the pseudo dragon. Um, but you did escape. And now I'll go find everybody else so that we can go storm the castle because we need to save out for. All right. We need a rest before we do that. Um, um, jumping back to the arena, you guys, as you're celebrating your survival, uh, guess who comes to join you? Who comes to join you? Mother? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh my God. Mother. Damn it, Mother. <laughs> as... As we, I had to jump off because my actual mom called, and I was. That's all I could think about. That's this is exactly the whatever conversation you had with your mother just now is exactly what she says, walking up to you. Yeah, I'm. Yes, I was in the middle of this. I will jump on the Zoom call, the family Zoom call, in a second. Just give me until five. Until yes, I know my niece is with you. God, stop being so overbearing. I will jump. I will do what you want, but we need to save Jude first. Jesus. Where's... And Jesus. we need to save our people, and we need a rest, and I need a, at least at least two of those, three, four of those operatives, those redheads that you have. Jesus. I need at least three of those. Good lord, you're so needy. Alright. Listen. I have a center of operations in the city. I will let you in on the condition that you leave the girls alone. I have... I don't want any more complaints. <clears throat> God, fine, mother. God. And where are those mojitos? <laughs> Damn straight. I, I reflexively start out of my bag of drinking. I'll start making mojitos and give one to mother. She downs it. Bag of drinking. <laughs> She downs Smashes it, then, it on the ground. Yeah, she downs it and then just holds the cup, the glass out, and just drops it. As if she expects there to be, like... Like, she doesn't it's really like care her. what happens to the glass after the point of There's using no, it. There's no servants around, Mother. Stop trying... She goes, oh, whatever. Stop looking, stop looking for immigrants to keep doing your job. <laughs> keep cleaning up after you. <laughs> Jesus, Mom. Mother. All right. All right. To the safe house. Yeah, so she exits and leads you along a uh, alley that brings you to a tavern. Um, walking into the tavern, you see that there are no, there are no uh, patrons of this place. I'm going to show you a quick... Jesus! What, what that? Um, this is what the tavern looks like. Uh, despite having a very roomy feel, there are currently no patrons in it. And you see this girl standing inside waiting for you to arrive. Where is NPC, Southline, Faith, um, Whoa. I lost, uh, I lost some NPCs. That's not good. Where'd they go? Oh, weird. Oh, no, that's because I'm on the wrong thing. I need to go to the DM side. Okay. Um, you see this girl is standing, waiting, and greets you. It's Alyssa Short Cloak. She's standing in the bar waiting for you all to arrive. Wow, oh, my friend. Beautiful. Need a, uh, I need a list of things from you. I need all equipment, all uh, smithing, meddling work equipment here as soon as possible. I need a drink station, maybe a cart of some kind. Uh, and if, I, if I'm going to not be hitting on Redhead's mother, then I'm going to need to be drinking heavily. <laughs> Alyssa looks at you and goes, What up, Ito? Looks like you broke your 
broke your toy, huh? <laughs> it's not a toy, it's precision weapon. Your, your mom kept calling it a toy. I don't, I don't know what that deal is, but I, it's a gun. I get it. It's a gun. The only thing my mom called by its proper name is that damn dog. <laughs> um, Alyssa <laughs> walks over to Lua, gives a little fist bump to Lua, goes, What up, princess? Everything good? Yeah. Well, um, we killed a monster. Um... Uh, I like a scorpion stinger tail thing, and uh. You know, is it that creature that they use for the the tournaments? Every once in a while, they'll have an arena tournament, and if like the people don't kill each other fast enough, they'll release this giant scorpion creature to kill everyone. Was it that thing? Mm, probably. Man, that thing is awesome. You killed it. Yep. Nice. Um. Oh, wait a minute. I remember. I gave you the nine hands my designs for my boom boom machine to be to be made. It, do you all have that? I, I asked for that a while ago. Do, do you guys have that? Because I can make that too. She has, that that would help. She has, I, we'll check in on that. It's like a fifty. It's like a fifty. Definitely need to check in on that. Let's see here. It's at least a 50 count. I can kill a building with that damn thing. She goes... Oh, what just happened? Uh-oh. Uh... Okay. She goes, yeah, we'll, we'll check in on that. And, uh... I'll try and get that to you. Okay. So, what else? Does... I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, this part was supposed to be mostly going on with uh, what Jude was doing. Jude. Yeah. So, I'm not mad. I'm just unprepared. <laughs> um, well, why'd you let him fly out the window? <laughs> Who let him? I, the dice let him. Yeah. You said you needed to end it at five, so I figured, what's the easiest way for Jude to get out? What would he do? YOLO, jump out the window. It, that's true. I mean, I'm not going to... I thought you were going to start in a gym. Like, I thought this crazy imprisonment, like, he already just let you out and then just put you in a regular room? That's crazy. He did not understand Jude's uh, carefreeness enough. <laughs> Psychoticness. No. Yeah. I thought you were just gonna hang out and like listen to uh, I mean there there was a cool shit. There was a puzzle. No, you didn't have to cut your blood. Um <laughs> there was a lot of red herrings in that room. And it uh, it would have probably taken you about thirty minutes to get to figure it out. But um maybe less. But on the other hand, I prefer that you all get together and, and work quickly together as a party rather than having a split thing with one person dealing with something thirty minutes and everyone else waiting, so this worked out. Hey, he's flying. He's flying around the city. The nine hands can try and find him and bring him to us, right? Sure. Yes. Um. In fact, we could say that. Jude, you land and do you recall the frog, person merchant? Yes. You land right next to him, and he goes, "Whoa! You came out of the sky. That was awesome. That was really cool." Uh. <laughs> You went to the arena, right? Just a minute ago? Yeah, the fight got boring, so I dipped. Oh, I heard it was the most amazing fight in, in the freaking history of all the arena fights, but... Figures as soon as I leave, something cool happens. That's probably right. Well, uh... Listen, we got, we got a safe house if you're looking for somewhere to cool down. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, he points you, in, he leads you to the safe house. So um, you all enter into the tavern, and a few minutes later, about 20, 30 minutes later, uh, Jude walks in with a uh, little bullywug fellow. When oh, so guys. Jude. You guys aren't dead. Congratulations. What happened? 
You're not in a gym. Here, yeah. Have a, here, have a, have a Manhattan. <laughs> I thought you were gone forever. I hold the Manhattan and smell it and realize it's alcohol, and I slowly start handing it back to Ito. I snatch it out of Ito's hand. <laughs> Um, All right. Long enough. Ex- fiery things and then things that catch fire don't go well together. We don't want to burn the tavern down. Uh, Malaru. God, if I cared about things exploding, I wouldn't work on my firearms and gunpowder while I was drunk. <laughs> Malaru, your mother steps behind the, the bar and immediately starts mixing her own drink um, and goes... Well, you didn't manage to save all of the Dragonborn, but I think that was good enough. Three out of six, that's 50%. That's pretty good. That's more than more than less than half. We saved more than our guy? Girl? Person? Listen, lady, Another we're one not got away. resting. We guys still gotta go save more people. We're not here to make drinks all day long. We gotta reorganize and fucking... Right. Head out there. What are we talking about? We have a very Did important you mission, where guys. Those, uh, your villagers were taken to? What about oh. the villagers? We gotta go save my dragon. Falcor's in trouble. What, and the playing? people, but mostly the dragon. What's, we we what, do need to save the dragon. What dragon? What are you talking about? My pseudo-dragon, Falcor. Little furry guy. Your he was on my shoulders. Other. Yes, they took him. I need him back. Well, I will burn this kingdom down. There are people's lives at stake. Why this but thing? Falcor's doesn't... life is at stake. Right. Where is they're it? going Where to is do your... something with him for their transformation, whatever that is? Who is they? Uh, Herzog and stupid Herzog. Are you saying that you just plan on assaulting the tower? Unless you got a better idea. Well, I would say that you should probably rescue the villagers first. They are due to die in the morning. When's the pseudo-dragon due to die? We don't know. Don't know. They're just trying to transform the king into something. I didn't catch the part about what he was transforming into. But they claim they're not with the cultists, even though we keep seeing the Herzogs with cultists. We just gotta get in that Herzog building, man. Really, we gotta find the townsfolk. Are, are the townsfolk in? Where are the townsfolk? That's what we gotta find out. Hey, uh, Lua? Bobby? You're muted. Yep. Roll religion. Religion. Well. Hold on. Eight plus zero. Lou is not super religious. Okay. <laughs> you hear faintly a voice calling out <laughs> to you. Hello? He goes, all right. Can, can you hear me? Hello? Fucking hell. Uh, yeah? yeah? Oh. Kiddo. Hey, uh, new form. Who this? <laughs> I, I, you're, you're breaking up. I can't. I, shh. And, and that's all you hear. Hmm. <laughs> well, that was weird. Is there any kind of, like, I don't know, perception check or investigation on my brain to figure out who that was? Yeah, you know that voice. That was Nesham's. <laughs> oh, okay. He was reaching out to you. Fucking but... Nesham's. Fucking invasion of privacy. Fuck. Yeah. Well, Can't just be talking in my brain? Yeah. There's too much interference in this area. And you roll too low on your religion <laughs> to yeah. to get a good reception. Sure. 
Lou is just annoyed that he would dare, like, talk inside her head. He's just trying to help. <laughs> Lou's all about don't know that. You never call. Lou just knows this this man pretending to be her dad is talking in her head. He, okay, you hear more. You hear, like, a vague ringing sound. Hello? Uh... Hey, it, it, it's uh, it's me. You, you dead? <clears throat> Ugh. I mean, <laughs> you still haven't proven that yet. Like, you just showed up and said it. I mean, I'm married to you. Like, I'm married to your mom. I mean. Yeah. I need do documents. You, do you want me to? <laughs> here. Uh, you hear. You hear someone kind of shuffling with something, and then you hear. Your mother's voice on the line. Uh, hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mom? Lua, how are you? Uh, I've been better. You, we're in the Fey Wild. Can you hear us? Yes, Can you Mom, hear us? I hear you. Okay. Yes! Your, your father and I want to tell you something. Um, define father? Oh, oh, come here, Nesham. Just quit being so shy. It's okay. She's. Oh my God! You did not just of, say Nesham was my dad. We're all family. <laughs> we're all part of a family now, and I, your father's trying to help you, and he wants to talk to you. Okay. Ugh. Just, just give him a chance. He's not a bad guy. He's just. What? Is, what does he want? <laughs> okay, you hear some shuffling. Some like. <clears throat> And then, uh, yeah, uh, hey, hey Lua, I, uh, <clears throat> I wanted Hi. to, uh, hey there, it sounds like you got yourself uh, a little problem, and I'm gonna, you know, I had some ties with the, the reality world, and, and I had some connections with a certain god of secrets and things of that nature, um, I tell you what, kid, I just want to help, I think, if you let me, I, I I could take you to where your villages are. I know you've been trying to find some people, save the lives. I'm 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 just here to help. Y your daddy is here to help. Oh no, thanks. <laughs> she hangs up. Oh god. No. No. Wait, I, uh, uh, no, 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 no. She I don't know. Okay. Casts the spell magic or some shit. Makes that go away. Yeah, you, you mentally hang up. Well, during this whole time, I'm going to say that everyone could hear that. It was kind of a voice from the oh, ether, see. and you were just talking out loud. Okay. Well, Cage uh, so embarrassing. Can't you call yourself a dad? Uh, I'm not. Ito's not getting in the middle of that. <laughs> Jude's over in the corner making tea. He didn't want to be involved in that either. Yeah, Ito's working on his guns and alcohol. Everyone is kind of like doing this, trying to no. distract themselves with some other thing. <laughs> no. no, if I heard that, I think he's definitely trying to insert himself, and I, I'm back on a blue. No, where where have you been this whole time? You can't just throw around stuff like that. No. <laughs> oh no, that's not that's not like a. It's not like a parent who left and came back. This is a step parent who just got here. Who just in any <laughs> Yeah. Call yourself daddy after you offer help. No. <laughs> okay. Um You guys have missing villagers and a tower to assault <laughs> with a dragon. <laughs> that is a tricky one. How are we going to find them? Some other way. I mean, he, he said that he had, like, some information. I just don't want to talk to him. No, he, <laughs> so maybe the nine hands has the same information. We're going to go around. She don't want to... No. Okay. Oh, she, but, oh, but... Right, so... Lua doesn't want to talk to her mother... But her parents, but I have to talk to my parents to get information. Right. Yes. Your mother looks at but you. But also, and says, 
If we don't get my dragon back, I will burn the city down. So we got to save the villagers first. Your mother looks at you and says, I'd rather you not. I mean, talk around, but just don't look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. And she starts pouring another drink. It's, I mean, everybody saw what I did in that tavern when that one pirate tried to steal my dragon. It's five o'clock. I'm not yet drunk enough. What? That's his right. mother speaking. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I need just, mother, are there any? Is there any information you can give us about where they're located? I need. We need intel. Mm-hmm. Um, she goes, well, I'll tell you what, I'll put some feelers out into the city, but you guys will need to be doing some questioning around, and I think I might have mm -hmm. a lead. They were led, they were led out of the south entry to the arena, and if you keep heading that way, they probably, you'll... Ask around that area and see if anyone saw them leaving the arena. That'd probably be the best place to start. Thank uh, you, Mother. I've never asked you for anything, and I thank you for this one thing that you've given me. Also, I left some plans with your people for a Beretta 680 series. Uh, I, if you have the materials that you need, if you gather those materials, I can make that. If you've also fronted me a little bit of like 300 gold to, on addition to the parts, because I also need that gold to make the thing. Other than that, I'm not asking for anything else. Thank you. And can I just have some gold too? Why did I have children? Oh, that's I don't know, right. Drunken mistakes. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, little girl. I don't know your addiction to Russian, to Russian oligarchs. That's why. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, yep. And then she just downs a whole drink, one gulp. That would explain it. Yeah. I. By the way, I've knocked off a hundred and twenty-five gold to re fix to fix my gun. Okay. Guys, I think uh, we're going to we're gonna call it here for tonight, for today. But uh, I, we all are in a tavern once again. What you, what you want? What you want? The one that we probably oh. won't burn since my dragon's not here. What you, oh, you want this? <laughs> Time to beat the street, bogus. Oh, this thing. You want the owl. Okay, we got our owl. Here you go. Oh. Okay, have fun, Ellie. Okay, guys, I gotta get ready <laughs> to pick up the wife and get all that taken care of. Well, you have to find some villagers and infiltrate the tower when we come back. Yes. All right, cool. All right, see you guys. Cool. Good session. See, see ya. Bye, Bye forever. Forever.